Hi everyone. So today is um, is is you know a day where I'd like to speak about um, cryptocurrency, obviously, but which which basically which um, uh, cryptocurrency we should be uh, looking at for 2017. We're already in February, but um, you know the idea is really to look at. And actually, I've I wrote a little uh, article on uh, on um, a Medium and um, a little uh, blog basically about. All kind of uh, cryptocurrencies and um, <clears throat> and I've you know used different tools. I've looked at different reports on uh, different uh, uh, blogs and, uh, and and articles. You know, um, you know, looking at probably 20, 30 articles on which one, which cryptocurrencies um, you should invest in two thousand seventeen. Which one is truly um, a a winner? So obviously, you know, Bitcoin is right right now is running really 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 well uh we're at um you know above uh, 1100 uh dollar in in price closest close ever to uh the highest in uh for bitcoin so super exciting time for cryptocurrency i think people really start to catching on on what cryptocurrency is um i do believe though that a lot of this is still a lot of speculation you know Buying and selling, buying and selling, buying and selling. It's all about it's all about um, investment and not so much about usability, um, and, and you know helping out those two billion people who don't have who do not have banking uh, access yet. And and I, I think that's a shame. But now, if you know, look at all these cryptocurrencies, you will see that um, a few of them really, really uh, came out. And in and in the the blog I wrote. Uh, one that really um, you know impressed me. I, actually, two of them uh, has been Dash and Monero, and and those two, as you see in the graph, uh, I've seen like tremendous momentum. And, and I think you know uh, for those who want to speculate and buy cryptocurrency and sell it, well, two things. One is super risky, okay, because anything except Bitcoin. Basically, we've seen a lot of cryptocurrencies like Litecoin and. And you know others who've been um, going really well at the beginning, and boom, they kind of failed. I mean, no much trading volume after that. Um, you know, you see a spike at the beginning, and boom, everything goes flat after that. So you got to really be really careful when it comes to cryptocurrency. All these cryptocurrencies are interesting. They all are, you know, interesting in their technology and um, and and the way basically they're looking at Bitcoin and looking at their flaws. At Bitcoin's flows and and trying to find solutions. So these are like really cool cryptocurrencies. Now there is a new breed of cryptocurrency, and I and I want to talk to you about this uh, about it today, um, because really what I see out of all these cryptocurrencies, uh, <clears throat> it's like a lot of disappointment after a while. You see this. This is Litecoin, by the way. You know this is Litecoin, and you see that. After it's been introduced, it's basically more or less going flat. Now there's volume and 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 people still do trade and you know buy and sell and buy and sell. But um, really, to me, cryptocurrency is much more than just you know it's not a stock. It 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 really solve a big problem, uh, the payment problem. To me, you know, you you know for for mailing when we were sending a message 25 years ago. Um, we had to to write on a piece of paper and send it through the post office, and then email came along, and boom, we were able to uh, to instantly, safely, and or like for free, be able to uh, send a message. And then I see, you know, cryptocurrency basically sort of solving the same problem, but for payments, for messages, you had email, and and that completely disrupt the way we communicate. Now you have cryptocurrency, and that's gonna change the way we make payments. But all these cryptocurrencies, maybe not Ripple, this is another breed, but um, a lot of these cryptocurrencies, you know, even Dash really is a privacy-centric cryptocurrency. Um, all these cryptocurrency, actually, what I found funny, and they're all looking at priv um, privacy, and um, being anonymous, uh, completely untransparent, for authorities and government, and at the same time, you're saying that you know governments anywhere in the world are trying to um, uh, let me let me show you that um, they want to you know regulate cryptocurrency. They they're not against cryptocurrency, but they want to regulate it. Crypt 
cryptocurrency um, <clears throat> and you see a lot of these uh, um, what did I see you lately um, da -da -da -da. Oh, that's interesting I have to see this one um, but you, you see a lot of uh, uh, of of news on how governments want to regulate this this new world uh, of cryptocurrency because it's um, it's 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 really an issue for those governments not to be able to track and see where money is going. You know, it's it's really a problem, and I think that for cryptocurrency to be adopted like hundred percent and being used by you know anyone, um, the governments have to be okay with it and. The fact that those cryptocurrencies are basically trying to go against the trend and really searching for a way to be super anonymous, super private, and super is going against what the government wants. So um, this is one one first thing is that really, uh, if you want to invest in cryptocurrency in 2017, um, I would either go for Dash and or Monero here. Um, that's one thing, or definitely Bitcoin because I believe Bitcoin will go. End of the year at three thousand dollars. You know, uh, it's just uh, my opinion. The reason is because it's you know very well known uh, by now. Bitcoin is the, is the most well known uh, cryptocurrency out there. It has a brand. Uh, it has acceptance from the merchants, uh, and um, and obviously you know people are making money with it. So so I will not hesitate to invest in Bitcoin um, this year. Now, the one I want to talk to you about is new breed of cryptocurrency. Um, it's one that is really extremely controversial. And, and, and there, I'm going to tell you the reason why it's so contro controversial. Um, you probably, if you heard of OneCoin, uh, there's others like SwissCoin and all of it. OneCoin is the biggest one. If you heard of OneCoin, this, basically this company uh, is doing its own mining. So it's not basically you or with your computer who you know uh, log in and and do basically and mine the coins it's actually this company do it for you and <clears throat> and once you um and you basically have to buy a package education package with that education package comes you know some tokens those tokens allow you to do the mining of the coins um and that's the way they distribute coins okay so it's very different to those cryptocurrencies where um <clears throat> Give you an example. Uh, well, like on you know, you have to basically uh, mine it yourself. Uh, Ripple actually, it was it's a pre-mined cryptocurrency, so it was mined before, and they I think the founders kept like something like eighty percent uh, to them, and they gave, or maybe it's the opposite. Uh, well, they basically kept, um, yeah, they hold on at seventy. So seventy percent of the the coins are still owned by the uh, the founders, and they give away thirty percent to you know some basically give it some donation to some institutes so these um these cryptocurrencies have done uh ether so you mine ether and uh, dash you mine dash so these are like mostly companies uh talking to geeks and those geeks um download uh, download um uh, a program that allow them to mine the coins um, it's very very technical and it only basically uh, can be understood by geeks okay it's only for geeks and this this company is doing completely opposite is okay you buy it with us um, a package education package and we handle the rest now this is super controversial because you'll see everywhere scam I mean you go one coin scam and you search and you see all these merch scam, you know, like everywhere, scam beware. Like even in Wikipedia, you have a scam. It's called like, it's a Ponzi scheme. Like basically, you would if you see this, you run away. Okay. Um, having said that, if you type Bitcoin scam, I believe you'll have a, you know, a list of current scam scammers, Bitcoin scams. You'll always, you know, have a lot of uh, scams also titles on 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 Bitcoin. So. Um, it's not because you see it on, on Google that it means it's true, right? Um, but anyway, back to OneCoin, people, a lot of people uh, accuse OneCoin of being a scam. And this is, to me, uh, a shame because I, I think one thing we can say is that 
OneCoin has taken a very different approach, which is network marketing. Uh, and I think this this is the genius of of um, these companies. They've they've they made a point by saying that okay, for the coin to be used, okay, the coin to be used, unlike this, with most of these guys are not used. Okay, it's just for speculation. But for the coins to be used, you need a, a very strong community, a lot of people. And so far, they've uh, so they've been surrounded by three million people. Three million people basically join one coin. And, and people call it a Ponzi scheme, and I tell you why it's not a Ponzi scheme is because uh, basically you buy an education package, now you can just uh, do uh, a thing and being a, you know, read the, the package, investor package, and you can also mine the coins and get some coins, and then you wait uh, for it to go public next year. But you can also um, tell your friends about it, and if they like it, they buy an education package. Now, you get a commission when you do this. But that's it. If you do not do this, you don't get a commission. There's no guaranteed return. There is no. Um, the only obligation for one coin is to pay you a commission when you sell something, and that's it. If you don't, they don't have to pay you anything. And the Ponzi scheme, uh, uh, and and it's not only this, but the Ponzi scheme usually is that you know you get a guaranteed result, a guaranteed return on your investment, uh, and you need the new people basically to. To pay, you need newcomers all the time to pay for uh, these guarantee returns. And at the, if, by some reasons, the number of people decrease, then you don't have enough people coming in to pay for the rest, and then this collapse. With one coin, it's absolutely not like this. It's just that if you bring in business, they pay you a commission. If you don't bring in business, they don't pay you a commission. So people who call it a Ponzi scheme just don't know either what a Ponzi scheme is or they don't know what one coin and how it works. Now, the second point is the blockchain, and they say this is the biggest problem. Uh, people say this is like uh, the blockchain, you know, of um, uh, the blockchain of, uh, of Bitcoin, right? So you see uh, basically the um, the numbers running, and each of the each of the block uh, which compose the blockchain is always recorded, and the uh, the fees and transactions and the total output and input. I mean, you got a lot of numbers basically with a lot of info, and they're basically telling you that this is, which is really important and it's true. You don't have it with um, um, with uh, uh, one life or uh, one coin. So this is actually bullshit. These people who are telling you this haven't been into um, into uh, one coin. Um, you basically see that every minute that you have. Uh, uh, this is the mining, by the way. They they mine fifty thousand coins every minute. So <clears throat> people call it bullshit, and they say that this is wrong. I'm telling you this. I believe that you know wait, it might be bullshit. Let's let's assume that this is all like fake and all. Okay, that could be bullshit. Um, we don't know it's bullshit. What we know is that they've been investigated uh, in twenty countries and nothing happened. Okay, that's number one, and um, and number two. They've announced in April next year that they will uh, come out. They will the, the blockchain basically will go public, and anyone will be able to mine the coins if they want to. Okay, so I would suggest you know anyone who's saying calling a scam to first um, open an account and really look at it. I mean, what do you get? What do you have to uh, to uh, to lose? One thing you know important is also that this company released. Uh, deal checker. Okay, it's not perfect. Okay, it's not it's not the best website in the world, but um, this uh, is a website selling, you know, uh, deals in euro and coin. Okay, this is the basically the the conditions for being on the on the website is you need to whatever you provide you need to show uh, you need to the price has to be fifty percent in one coin. And I think this is really cool. It's not the most beautiful site you'll see. I agree with that. And there's a lot of, you know, quality control and things to look at. But, man, you know, you have a website with um, uh, one coins who, who accept one coins. And, yes, you have to use um, some part in euro, use your credit card. But one coin is also used half of the value of the deal minimum is one coin. And, actually, some are 100% um, percent in one coin. Some deals accept 100% um, uh, things in, in one coin. So I think this is really cool. It's not perfect, okay? The site's not doesn't look that great to me, 
but at least they got something really interesting. And I tell you what, I'm I'm not sure if it's I've put my own um, I have a, a, a business and I, I try to put uh, something on it. I'm still in approval uh, waiting uh, because they're quite actually getting strong on compliance and all. But I've done this myself and I found it quite quite like super interesting. Uh, 11,000 business have been registered so far. And uh, yeah, that's the one coin who developed that. So, you know, uh, one coin, one life. Uh, this is really, for me, interesting to, to... This is one life. This is the company, basically, that distributes one coin. And um, we've got to give, give them credit for that. Now, is this a scam? I don't think so. Uh, again, for many, many reasons. But if it is, uh, or if it doesn't release next year, uh, then we'll know. But, you know, a lot of people who are just uh, accusing uh, OneCoin of being a scam, they actually do not know OneCoin. And that's kind of uh, pisses me off a bit. It's, it's actually interesting to study it. Um, you know, to be honest, I was introduced to cryptocurrency a while ago with Bitcoin. And then I didn't look at it much. Then one coin came along, I thought it was a scam, looked into it because I thought, hey, what the hell? Then found out that it was interesting. I got really skeptic, but I looked at it and I actually bought a package at 500 euro. All right. And then got into it and then start looking again at all other cryptocurrencies out there. I've looked at it because I'm interested. Um, I'm curious. And my conclusion is this. All the current cryptocurrencies, the altcoins that we're called, don't have much chance to get Bitcoin because they're kind of using exactly the same way to distribute the coin, and and it's it's bound to uh, to go down uh, to me. Whereas Whitecoin is taking another approach, and a lot of tech guys do not like it. They call it a scam, and there's a lot of pressure on you know even from the banks. We're seeing Whitecoin as a big threat. So um, I would just suggest you to do a little bit of research. Um, on Whitecoin and just open your mind because remember Bitcoin was in the early days called a scam and you would find many articles uh, explaining why it was a scam even a Ponzi scheme and uh, and now it's becoming widely accepted worldwide and we feel I think it would be great really to have an alternative cryptocurrency and Whitecoin could do the trick I would you know, I would be uh, happy. If it's another cryptocurrency, that's fine. But let's not just try to call, to kill um, what what hasn't, you know, been doing bad or anything. Let's not just keep their options open. I, that's at least my, my conception of things. So I hope, um, you know, um, I hope it was interesting for you. Again, I, I recommend you to have a look, have a quick lead at my... Uh, post i'm gonna publish it right now so um hopefully it was interesting for you you know and um, if you have any comments and things you can post it on this youtube channel crypto expert thank you and have a wonderful day